Most newspapers are reporting financial difficulties these days. So why is this paper enjoying a boom? Serena Altshul has been investigating the state of the onion. Humorists aren't kidding when they say dying is easy, comedy is hard. Sometimes some of us spend like over 12 hours writing a first draft. Harder still, being <laughs> laugh out loud funny. Three teens drown in tragic cliche. It's like, <laughs> it's sad not because they drown, but because they drown in such a cliche oh, manner. And making money all the while. <laughs> we scout exclusively from the Ivy League. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that everybody who works here is financially stable yeah. and financially independent. At The Onion, a satirical weekly newspaper, writers come up with the headlines first, then the story. Of course, some of their headlines don't need a story to be funny. <laughs> headlines like... Many Americans too fat to commit suicide. U.S. breath reaches all-time worst. Man finally put in charge of struggling feminist movement. The Onion was born in 1988, when some University of Wisconsin undergrads decided to start an alternative newspaper that convinced local businesses to buy the ads. Scott More Dickers was there at the beginning and is now the Onion's editor-in-chief. What was it like? It was kind of out of uh, somebody's dorm room for the first couple of months, and then it was in somebody's house. And I don't think we had an office until year two. And I don't think we got paid until year three. Check it out. The one and only Onion, America's finest news source. The headlines made The Onion the talk of Madison. The Onion went online in 1996. That, and of course those wacky headlines and offbeat stories, raised its profile. The fake and the real get mixed up. We don't mind that. You know, that's, that's sort of our uh, stock and trade. So mixed up that sometimes readers don't get it. The, uh, the Beijing Times once re-ran a story of ours verbatim. Oh, come on. It was about um, the Congress threatening to leave Washington if the city didn't build them a new st uh, stadium capital with a retractable dome. And when it was revealed to them that this came from a comedy newspaper, they simply didn't understand it. They were like, what kind, what kind of newspaper prints falsities? Funny became serious business when The Onion moved to New York City seven years ago. An investor bought the shop for nearly $4 million and installed Sean Mills as president. So you are the business guy in the corner office with the nice view. And Absolutely. The Lording over these poor comedy writers, teased, taunting them with how the other half lives. Onion was funny before you got here. So what's your job then? Oh. What do you? <laughs> my my job is you know to help the company grow. So the the beauty of the content is it's so smart and so it attracts this really great audience mm -hmm. and advertisers really want to reach these people. The company's largest investment came last April. When the fictitious Onion News Network was born. Susan and Mark Andelman of Portland, Oregon, started sending their son Timothy to a daycare facility in India four months ago. Oh, it used to be quite a hassle in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now sometimes I'm even able to just get them right into the box without even waking them up, so it's a lot easier. Outsourcing Timothy worked so well, they decided to send their three-week-old daughter Brittany to infant care in Sri Lanka. Just as The Onion parodies print, its so-called network parodies television news. It's a simple idea, a line of clothing sewn by children, some as young as six years old, halfway around the world. Gap calls this innovation for kids by kids. How popular are these podcasts? Well, the ONN was named the best download last year by iTunes, and its commercials command premium rates. Could multiple stab wounds mean shorter lives? The Onion News Network is sort of like you're really watching the news. It's sort of on seriousness steroids. Mm -hmm. And so we never break character. We're very, uh, we're very serious about the news we're reporting. A series of concentric circles have begun emanating from this glowing red dot in the big blue area over my left shoulder. The circles are And it's making the company some serious money, which makes Scott Dickers a happy man. I like having a, a paycheck that's printed by a computer. Uh, I like um, occasionally being able to expense a meal. Carl Wainwright will be 100 years old. 
This can-do senior is still doing what he loves most, performing life-saving surgery on the human brain. <laughs> the Onion. A marriage of cash and creativity. <laughs> Laughing all the way to the bank. How much is the company worth? Can you estimate? Uh, Oh boy, I would say, what did Microsoft just offer Yahoo? Something along those lines, I would guess, probably. <laughs> I think, I don't know, beauty is in the eye of a holder. It's pretty priceless to us.